Oh hello, I'm Hannah Martin, thanks for joining me. Um, if you don't subscribe yet, please click subscribe below and come join us. Um, I am the makeup artist on the new series of 10 Years Younger in 10 Days on Channel 5. Um, and yeah, I want to share with you Sarah's makeover look. Now it was um, my favourite kind of bronzy, glowy um, makeup. Unfortunately, I'm unable to recreate Jean Vial's big fabulous blow dry. I tried to curl it, I'm horrible at hair, I shouldn't have bothered. But um, yeah, I'll put a link to the show below so you can watch. Let me get cracking, I'm gonna prep my base with Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, this has been a favourite of mine for years. To take a healthy pea size, I'm just gonna blend that into my skin. Mm. It feels so good and just before I do anything else I want to do a little bit of um, Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I do love this stuff. Just a couple of spritzes. Then for base I just want to note this isn't um, like for like because my skin tone's different to Sarah's. I've got a slightly different kit set up here than I had on set, but it's very similar. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Foundation, and this is Cashew 3.5. Now this is so hydrating, but it's also super soft. So when applying, don't use much pressure. And then I'm gonna use my Shiseido face brush just to buff that into my skin. Then to brighten my under eye I'm going to use some of my slightly mucky, sorry, Tarte Shape Tape. At the moment I'm using light, now this simply says light on it, no other description on it and I do love this for a smokier eye which I'm going to do because it is as you can see super bright then for bronzer I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Pantor and I'm using the medium with my Real Techniques foundation brush I always tap a bit onto the tip of my brush and then just tap it into the back of my hand just to work it into the brush a little bit now don't be alarmed I know it looks frightfully dark, but just watch as I blend. Now I'm using this more as a bronzer than I am a contour, because I think all of us agreed that Sarah needed a little bit of a kind of Jennifer Lopez bronzed goddess glow kind of look. Although, interestingly, since the show aired, loads of people she's saying, quite rightly, that she looked like Sarah Jessica Parker. You know, Circus Sex and the City days. Just taking a little bit through the top of my forehead to add some warmth. And you saw I just took some down the side of my nose. I'm just gonna use my fingers there to blend that out, but that should give, overall, quite a bronzy, dewy look. I'm just gonna take, I wanted to do this before, but I forgot, a tiny bit of Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. It's quite nice to load up your glow products before you come to do too much powder. I'm just gonna dab that in with my finger. Then before I do anything else, I want to get some eyebrows on so I can frame my face. And I'm going to use an old favorite and that's the Bobbi Brown Cosmetics Dark Brow Kit. Um, if you like definition in your brows but you want something speedy, I can't recommend this highly enough. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Cosmetics Eyebrow Brush and just dabbing into the brow powder really lightly and then just filling in 
the skin behind the hairs of my brow following the direction of the growth of the brow for quick and natural but well-defined brows. There are so many brow products on the market but this is one I find myself coming back to time and time again. Just being sure to spend a little bit of time here at the head of my brow where I'm naturally a bit more sparse. I, fit, I hate to say I think I'm getting more and more sparse with time. Okay cool. Now I'll do a little bit of powder but again I don't want loads so I've got my trusty Real Techniques powder brush and then this is um, the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix powder. Quite similar to my Studio Fix by MAC. I'm just using this big brush, I'm just going to set through the T-zone, trying not to get rid of too much of my glow. Um, if you really want to maintain your glow whilst keeping a bit of the bronze situation, um, I do love this Max Factor bronzer. I'm going to take a bit on a Bobbi Brown bronzer brush and just go over my bronzer a touch just for even more of a bronzed glow. Usually a fan of a more pinky blush, I'm actually going to use this blush trio by Anastasia Beverly Hills for a slightly more peachy cheek, which I think is really pretty with a bronzy eye. So I'm going with this colour here, which is Nectarine, and I'm just going to take that on the apple of my cheek. Have I got Tantor on my chin? That's cute, hey? Now, when it came to eyes, I created um, a soft, bronzy, smoky eye, which is kind of my fave. Um, and I'm going to do that for you now. Starting with, this is an Urban Decay pencil, and it's the colour, I want to say roach. Yeah, thank goodness it is roach. <laughs> and I'm just going to take it all over my lid. Oh my goodness, this colour is so beautiful. I mean, any hazel-eyed guys and girls out there, you're the lucky ones, because any colour works on you. But I absolutely love this colour against a bluey green eye. It just makes the blue and green of your eye pop. So I've taken it all over my lower lid. Now I'm using a MAC 217. And just buffing the edges. Gosh. Do you know what? You could leave it at that, couldn't you? With just lots of mascara, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Let me do the other eye. Now over that, I've got in front of me a couple of different but all very beautiful options. I'm going to start with this from Stila. It is their Glitter and Glow eyeshadow in Bronzed Bell. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that just through the crease there on either eye. And back with my 217 brush. Just going to buff that over my lid. But I do want to show you A dupe of this that I came across recently and it's this by Be Perfect Cosmetics. This one is called Jewels. Maybe I'll take a bit of that just in the inner corner here. But it's a really gorgeous, really similar sparkling bronze liquid shadow. Just wanted to show you that. I've also, while I'm here, so I can't help it because bronzed shadows are my thing. Look at this. This is one of the Hourglass Scattered Light Shadows and this one's called Foil. Should I do a tiny bit in the centre? It's a bit brighter than the colour I wanted to create, but look at that. Oh! So we'll just create the most softest of halos. Buff that with my brush. Okie doke. Um, I'm going to do something underneath, but I'm going to wait a second and see exactly what I do. I do want to make my lash line more intense, so I'm going to go back to my gorgeous Delilah 
gel line and using a bobby brown eyeliner brush i'm going to draw that all the way along the root of my lashes but this time i don't need it to be quite so slim because i want to have a fair bit to buff so i'm going in fairly kind of quickly and imperfectly just to get a decent amount of the product all the way along my lashes right at the base but you see this time it's quite thick and then with a the clean brush this is by Real Techniques I'm just going to buff the edge of that so kind of blending that liner up the lid and into the shadow the idea being you don't see where the liner starts or where it finishes but you can see the bronze getting gradually darker until it's jet black the base of my lashes. Look how quick and easy that was. I do love a bronze smoky eye. Some things never change, hey? So I'm just gonna take a bit of that Roach liner from Urban Decay and pop that all along the lower lash line. At the moment I'm just going in between the root of the lashes from underneath and then using my ring finger I'm just going to buff the edge. And now I'm just going to take a tiniest bit of the Tantor on a shadow brush by Real Techniques. Not loads, just a little bit and then I'm going to sweep that under the eye as well just to soften that little bit of liner. I do love it when a lower lash line liner is kind of thick and smudgy as opposed to hard and strong so that's just see the difference it just softens it a little bit. And then in a bit I can decide whether or not I want to take the roach actually into the waterline. I think I probably will. Before I do anything else, let's curl my lashes. I'm actually using some Bobbi Brown eyelash curlers this time. So important that you curl your eyelashes, guys and girls. You want to be able to see your lashes past your liner and everything. Now to add a bit of drama, as I did to Sarah's makeup, I'm gonna add some eyelid lashes. These are the lengthening ones. I must say, I'm a huge fan of the Ardell Demi Wispies. Just using some duo glue. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that along the edge of the lashes. It's important once you've got the glue on your lash that you just give it some time to go tacky. You don't wanna go straight in. I'm actually using some um, lash applicators. These are the ones by Unicorn Cosmetics. And then in a second, I'm just going to drop the lashes onto my lash line. Just like that. I'm going to use these just to pinch those in place. Just checking they're stuck down okay. You don't want too much glue along the rim or it'll take forever to dry. I'm just going to do my lips while I let my lashes dry. I'm going to start with my Beauty Pie lipstick. This colour is Nude Blush. And it's a lovely, hydrating, creamy, nudie pink. Look at that. I was going to line. I don't think I need to, but I do just want to take it down a step. So I'm going to use some of the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss. This colour is Sweet Talk and it's just going to take some of that pinky edge off. There we go. And make it a tad more nude. And while I'm on the Beauty Pie theme, let me take some of their Uber Curl Mascara and just mascara my curled lashes into 
my Isla lengthening lashes. Okay, great. And then I do think just to finish, I'll take a bit of the roach in my waterline just to make that look ever so slightly darker. I don't want to go black, but this gorgeous kind of bronzy brown. See how it just takes the edge off? So here we have it, a bronzed, smoky eye look inspired by the look I created for Sarah on Channel 5's 10 Years Younger. If you have any questions, just put them below. I shall um, do links for products. Oh, hang on. Prep, set and glow. Sitting in front of me, I just forgot to put it on. I hope you guys enjoyed that, a bit of summer inspo maybe maybe you are a summer bride maybe you've got a fun occasion coming up this summer and um, here is a bronzed sparkly smoky eye for you